What's good everybody? It's your boy David again and I'm back with another video for it tonight. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment down below. So guys, in this video, um this is not a reaction video, but I would like to be upfront with you guys and as honest as I could be because a lot of people or a lot of you guys have been asking me who I am voting for as the president of the Philippines. And I was really thinking about it for two weeks now, if I should say it or not. But if you guys have been following me on my TikTok, on Facebook, alam niyo na kung sino yung iboboto ko. But uh, many of you as well don't know who I am voting for come this uh, election. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng three reasons why I am voting for this candidate or presidential vote. Before we begin, sana we respect or you guys would respect my choice as I will to yours, okay? Sana all. Bigyan ko yun ng example. My mom and dad are for Isko. And uh, I think my two sisters are for Isko. I have aunts, yung mga tita ko, they are for Lenny. And may isa pa din akong tita, she is for Ping. And uh, my friend din akong for Manny Pacquiao, no? iba-iba tayo ng choices because we see things differently and uh, we perceive things differently as how as how we, you know, understand them as a person and as a politician. So, I am for BBM and Sarah. I am for Uniteam. I am voting for them. But let's talk about BBM muna. Why I am going to vote for BBM. It's not about because he's a Marcos. What? It's not about his credentials. No, which is really a hot topic on on the news on social media kasi there are people claiming na hindi talaga siya nakapag-graduate but there are also um, people na talaga sabi kasi may special diploma siya and everything so let's not go further with that let's just go with my reasons why I am voting for BBM so ito handa na ba kayo first I will vote for him because I believe that he can and he will continue uh, what PRRD started. The build, 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 anti-corruption, anti-drugs, and everything that has been established by our outgoing President Duterte. And uh, that's very, very crucial for me. Kasi I heard, okay, one of the interviews, uh, VP Lenny was asked, okay? VP Lenny was asked what she thinks about build, build, build. And she said na she would halt it muna, stop it muna. And I don't know the reason. Basta nabasa ko siya sa isang article which was published on Facebook. Na isa stop mo muna siya. And that alone entails so much to me. You cannot stop build, build, build. No, ang ganda na ng momentum eh. With the bridges, highways, infrastructures, everything, everything. And I believe that BBM has the capacity with the support of Sara Duterte, which is the daughter of our outgoing president. And naniniwala ako because he also saw his father, I'm talking about Bongbong, who established a lot of infrastructures during Marcos' time, his late father. Kaya naniniwala ako na he will and he will continue the Build, Build, Build program. That is very crucial to me. Lalo na dito sa amin sa Mindanao na hindi capital, that is a very crucial um, point or aspect when choosing who to vote. Second, BBM has an utmost respect to our outgoing President Duterte. He never bad-mouthed President Duterte. Despite the criticism that, you know, recently natatanggap niya or yung the moment that he announced that he will run, no, because President Duterte really wanted Sara to run for the presidency. Pero yun na nga, Sara decided to be a VP. And di ba, may parinig pa si President Duterte na about a cocaine user, which was not named actually. But a lot of people assumed, even me assumed that it was Bongbong Marcos. I will not make it clear now. There's even a presidential candidate na cocaine. May kandidato tayo ng cocaine yan. Yung mga anak ng mga mayaman. Oh my God! But despite the cocaine issue that was thrown to BBM, hindi siya nagsalita. Hindi siya nagretaliate sa issue na binitawan ng ating president. And that alone shows how respectful he is. Gusto ko kasi sa isang president, yung character. Iba-iba naman yung character. Eh. 
no? President Duterte has a very aggressive character, but the willpower is there. Ito naman si Bongbong Marcos. He is not that aggressive compared to our outgoing president, but he has high respect to every candidate, to every Filipinos. And that alone gives me hope that he will respect the Philippines as how President Duterte catered and served the country. Yun talaga. And third, ayoko nang bumalik sa Liberal Party na Times. Ayoko nang mamuno ang isang LP sa Philippines. You guys know why. You guys know why. If you just open your eyes, you guys know why. Corruption, pollution, the Pasig River, Burak and everything. Walang nagkikare sa Philippines. And they are given 30 plus years to prove to the Filipinos that EDSA was worth it. Or EDSA, People Power Revolution, was worth it. But I don't see anything that is better. It got worst and worst and then yung mga paratang nila about sa utang 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 is essential for a country to to really develop diba imagine utang ka ng utang at least may inf- infrastructure kesa naman yung utang ka ng utang <laughs> corruption lang din so that is how I take it that is how I see it and I respect your um, perception how you understand things in the past the history martial law isa pa yan martial law eh a lot of people naglive ako kagabi sa ano, naglive ako kagabi sa TikTok and um dun sinulong ako ng mga kakampinks <laughs> sa comments. But hindi ko sila binlock. I, I let them speak themselves. You know, I I let I let them speak kung ano yung thoughts nila. So I respected them kasi I I also want to hear them out. And then here comes a question na, uh, hindi ka pa ba natuto sa his- history sa martial law? Well, first, di pa ako na na ano dun, na isilang wala pa ako sa mundo dun. but I do believe my parents my grandparents my aunts my titos my titas and every relative na andun and not a single of them said that it was bad not a single of them told me that it was the saddest or the darkest days of the Philippines those are my reasons why I am voting for BBM and Sarah. Now, next time on the next video, I'm going to tell you guys why I am voting for Sarah Duterte. So, again, uh, I don't have any problems if you're Lenny, Isko, for Manny, for Ping. I don't have any issue with that. May the best candidate win come this election uh, 2022 and uh, please do respect mine and I will respect yours. Okay? Love, love, love. Sabi pa nga ng Nanay Lenny, di ba? <laughs> Pinkachu Hadouken. <laughs> Bye everybody. Much love. Thank you for listening. Bye!